Welcome to Fresh and Famous, one of the hottest radio shows online, man. Uh, this is our first guest for tonight. She's seen on WorldStarHipHop.com, Justine Jarrell. You almost had me speechless. Hi, how's it going? And to uh, all the new listeners out there, go ahead and tell us who Justine Jarrell is. Um, uh... Because you're a wild girl. You're really I'm wild. Uh, I mean, I think it's portrayed more than wild. But I'm actually pretty chill. I'm mostly staying home with my dogs. It's more of a a work thing. Is it hard, you know, finding a relationship with their body fully exposed on the internet? Not at all. Actually, I've been in mostly long-term relationships, and they never once complained because, like I told you, they usually like my boyfriends. Like they go with me to shoot. They see how it is. It's very professional, mm-hmm. and. It doesn't try like I guess people see it and they think that other things go on during the photo shoots, but it really isn't. Like I drink at a shoot to get more comfortable, but after that I go home and snuggle with my dogs and eat. <laughs> do you think a lot of women are the complete opposite? Do you think a lot of them, you know, do it for the attention and you know to be in these new music videos and everything? Do you think a lot of women act like that just for the attention? You know, just to get those you know, those guys to hit on them. There's so many different kinds of girls out there. Um, a lot of it, most of the girls are trying to move into something bigger because if you think about it, even then they started off as like a video vixen. She wanted to be an artist. And they're, the younger girls, I would say they do it for attention, but they usually don't end up doing very well because it's obvious. How was it uh, shooting with Ellen Stagg, who's worked with uh, Scarlett Johansson? I didn't know she worked with Scarlett Johansson. Ellen is really chill, and she was introduced to me by a good friend photographer of mine. His name is Esteban Oriol, and he was like, oh, she's like me of the West Coast, um, of the East Coast, because Esteban is based in LA, and she's in New York. And so when I met her, she's just got, she's got a, um, I wouldn't say hippie, but she's very passive. She doesn't look at it as a big deal, you know? So to me, we just sat around and talked for a minute before we started shooting and she would be my okay let's just put it this way we want to do a diaper party if you know what that means we want to do a diaper you party. Know, it's basically where everybody has to wear adult diapers and drink their face off and not allow to use the bathroom <laughs> wow. that's how chill she is how did the whole world star shoot go down I worked with Johnny Five, and his then girlfriend was a stylist and makeup artist. Mm-hmm. And they were asking me for a while, and I was just like, "There's no way I'm going to do that." It'll... But then I really don't want to do this so much longer. I'm like, you know what? I don't really want to turn around and be like, "Who really cares?" Like, I I just want to say I did it, whatever. If anybody's going to judge me for it, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. me that has to end up with me, you know? I mean, this is world star, like. Um. And I didn't really get much negative feedback. Um, just random strangers will say something, but I don't really care what a stranger has to say. I mean, I can make an opinion back, but I don't do that. Yeah. What made you want to just start getting naked for the camera? Just get in front of the camera okay. in general. <laughs> I started when I was really young. and How, um, young, how young are we talking? I, like 19. Okay. And my then boyfriend was like, I got all these girls. And I'm like, oh my God, we just like, I didn't think the girls were that great. You know, like just because they have a professional photo, you think they're the shit. So I would turn around and be like, well, I could do a photo shoot too. So I was just doing it just to, <laughs> just to fight him. And then um, because of the internet, they just started hiring me. I was like, really? And that was more to like shove it in his face, but that caused us to break up. But. What did you want to be when you were, you know, growing up? Well, around the same time I started modeling, I got into real estate, but then I left that because it was just an older woman's game. Nobody wants to buy a house from a teenager. What are some things that you would like to do in the future? I actually want to go back to school for real estate and do it out here in L.A. since I have a a decent network. Mm -hmm gonna keep modeling a little bit longer just till I like you know get my mind wrapped around the whole business right. and then quit and fully do that because there's money to be made out here in LA. Do you think hip hop is gonna get, get back to auto tune? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think that was a phase, and like maybe they'll use it every now and then, but I don't think it's gonna be like how it was. 
you're not going to go to an R&B singer anytime soon, right? No, I can't sing with the shit. No, okay, I can't sing. Just making sure. I can snap and hum. <laughs> there you go. Snap and hum. That's exactly that's exactly what you can do. So. Justine Jail right here, man. We got to go. We got to keep the show rolling. Where can we hit you up at if we want to keep in touch with you and all that good stuff? Just chat with you. You can be on Twitter at Justine Morrow. And then Instagram is Justine underscore J. And it's E-S-T-E-N-E. There you go. There you go. Now you have like, what, 100, 106,000 followers on, on Instagram? Yeah, that is like nuts, that. man. That is nuts. That is nuts. Good shit. Um, so okay, cool. So we can hit we can hit you up on Instagram. Hit you up. What about your website? Is your website website up to date? Oh yeah, oh, forgot about that. It's Club Justine. Come on, Justine. You know this is a network radio show. You got to network. You know what I mean? You got to. I keep forgetting to, it. to say it. It's all good. Is this your first? Have you ever been on a radio show before? Ever? Uh, yeah. It's just um little things to saying that we're gonna be in a club in a different city, but. Not so much. Yes. So I so I was like pretty much the first guy to ask you like all the details. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Club Justine Harrow dot com. You gotta be eighteen and older though. Hey, what's up? It's Justine Harrow and you're listening to Fresh and Famous Radio. Yes, let's do it. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>